This math game is called Closest to 100. It's a good game for mental addition, especially with two digit numbers and two digit numbers. Uh, things to note, in your deck you want to take all the face cards out. We will not be using them for this game. And there are two cards with special values. Alright, so the way this game works is, I'm just going to show you one player's board. Um, you want to get the lowest overall score possible. And here's how we get the score. First, for round one, you're playing against an opponent, or you can play by yourself, and you deal out six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then your opponent gets six cards. And you try to arrange these cards to make two two-digit numbers that will add up to 100, or as close as you can get to it. So for example, I have, I can make 28 here, or this is a 1, 19, or 4, this just counts as 4, it's like a 0 and a 4. And let's see, to make 100, I'm thinking I'll try to add so that I have 2 and 8 in the 1's place. Mm, maybe I'll do 92 plus 8. And 92 plus 8 should equal exactly 100. So I record my numbers here. 92 and 8, that gives me 100. And for my score, I record how far away I am from 100. Well, I hit exactly 100, so my score is 0. That's a great score. And that's round 1. I would show my opponent my answers, and they could check my math, and then we move on to the next round. And then I get 6 cards again. And I like to do the strategy where I one of my 1's place first, try to get a clean 100. And 73 plus 27, that should equal 73 plus 7 is 80, plus 20 is 100, or 73 plus 27 is 100. Wow, I managed to keep my score at zero both rounds. That's very unusual. Let's try the next round and see what happens. Okay, well in this one I have an interesting situation because all of my cards are really high and so I'm definitely going to go over 100. Now the goal is to keep it as low as I can and just not go over by too much. So the lowest numbers I could put in the tens place are the sixes and to keep my score as low as possible I'm just going to pull all my lowest numbers out and I'm pretty sure this is the lowest number I can come up with, 66 plus 67, and when you get all high numbers, there's nothing you can do about it. And so that gives me, let's see, 133, is that right? How far away am I from 100? 33 points. Oh man, that one wrecked my perfect game, but that's okay. We'll keep going, maybe my opponent also will get a really bad score at some point. Who knows? Okay, six cards. And let's see, 63 and 47, that's a bit high, so I'm actually going to swap this out and make it 64 plus 37. I think that's the best I can do. All right, I'll just go with that for now. 64 plus 37, and that puts me at 101. And I'm 1 over, so my score is 1. And there's also a version of this game you can play where if it's under, let's say I got like 99, then it'd be negative 1, and I could try to balance out my score. But for the easy version of this game, we'll just make any distance you are away from 100 is the absolute value is the score. Okay, last round. Make 100. Is 100. And I have 0 here. And now I can calculate my total score, which is 0 plus 0 plus 33 plus 1 plus 0. My total score is 34. And I'll compare that with my opponents, and whoever had the smallest score wins the game. And then here's space to play more. That's it.